Joining me now this morning is our TV happiness coach, Marbeth Dunn. Now, according to a recent study, happier people actually get more done at work. They also make more money in their job. Just another reason to strive to be happy every day. Marbeth, it is always a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Happy to be here, Jenna. <laughs> I love being here with you. So much fun. Well, Marbeth, I am happy to have you here this morning. Now, you are going to share with our viewers some secret tricks that celebrities like Oprah, Lance Armstrong, and Steven Spielberg use. Share those with us. I would love to. The first secret trick I call the Oprah Winfrey, let go of your past. Let go of your past because the present is the pivotal point of power. Now, Oprah Winfrey overcame an abusive past and she was told by TV producers that she was unfit for TV but she let it go and that's what we need to do we need to let the past go the second secret trick is the Steven Spielberg <laughs> Steven Spielberg was rejected from the University of Southern California three times for the School of Film Theater and Television Three times he was rejected, but he held the vision. And that is the secret, to hold the vision and you will succeed. He went on to become the, possibly the biggest producer, director the world has known. And he's still going. He did go back and completed his education. At 35 years later, <laughs> he got his, his uh, bachelor's degree. But we want to hold the vision and that is the secret. <laughs> I love it. I love how you're just flinging it because it, it does, Marbeth, it goes with the just letting go, just drop it. The third secret trick is the Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong overcame testicular cancer to win the Tour de France seven years in a row. And he became the world sh cycling champion, the U.S. cycling champion. And this is after having had testicular cancer. So the trick is to focus on what you want and not on what you don't want. When you can focus on what you want and give zero attention to what you don't want, you have the magnetic capability of pulling in what you want. I love it. These are three great examples, Marbeth. And let's go back to Oprah. Yes. Can you imagine what would have happened if Oprah would have listened to those people who told her she can't do it? I mean, look at where she is today and Absolutely. what she's done. Absolutely. And if she had remained in the abusive mentality of being a victim, she would never have been able to go forward. But she did. She let it go and look where she is today. What about Steven Spielberg? He has an incredible story as well, Marbeth. An amazing story. He held his vision. He didn't let a rejection from the University of Southern California three rejections. He didn't let them stop him. He held his vision. He knew what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. He wanted to create movies and look what he did today. Mm -hmm. Living his passion. Absolutely. And he's a legend. Absolute legend. And again with Lance Armstrong, he focused on what he wanted, not on the challenges facing him. Well, can you imagine having testicular cancer? Many people would have focused on the cancer, but he had his dream and he focused on what he wanted. Mm -hmm. And look what a legend he is today. Mm -hmm. So what our viewers can take from these three people, Marbeth, is to let go of the past, mm -hmm. focus on what you want, sure. and hold a vision. Yes, we want to hold that vision because if we're stuck in the past and we're stuck in blaming other people for what's wrong with us, we've lost our, our pivotal point of power. We have lost our ability to take responsibility and move forward. And life is always moving from point A to point B. If we start to focus on the past and we start to worry about what happened in the past, we can't move forward. Mm -hmm. We have to be now and we have to have a vision. I love it. And Marbeth, every time that you come on the show, you go over your happy strategy. So could you go, with, go over that with us again this morning? H is for your heart. It is the gateway to health, wealth, and happiness. A is appreciate. Appreciate everything in your life because it is a gift. And P is positive. Have positive thoughts about yourself, positive thoughts about others, 
and positive things to say about yourself and others. And P is also for play. Play your way through your day. And Y is you. It's your choice to be happy, so choose happiness. Great. I love it. I love that strategy. And I am. I'm trying to apply it every day to my life. I mentioned at the beginning, Marbeth, that there was a recent study that was done that showed that happier people, they excel at work. Yes. They also get paid more. So it really does pay to be happy, literally. It pays to be happy. In this study, they, they studied almost 10,000 people over five years, and they discovered that they made $1,800 a year more than their less happy counterparts. And as the last time I was on the show, I was telling you about a study from the University of California and also University of North Carolina where the people who were happier had a stronger immune system. Mm -hmm. They were healthier. Mm -hmm. So it, you, it, you just can't refute the evidence. You have to choose happiness if you want to be healthy happy, successful, and make more money. Absolutely. <laughs> and I think that's something that we all would like. So why not have that happy lifestyle? Absolutely. Marbeth, it was a pleasure having you on again this morning. I look forward to your return. And if you want more information on Marbeth, check out the info you see at the bottom of the screen. You can also pick up your very own copy of her book entitled The Joy Strategy. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.